Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Christian. How are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here to my channel, hi. I'm Christian and I make men grooming videos and sometimes my daily vlogs. If you are interested with that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button or the bell button beside the subscription bar. So you'll get notified whenever I post a new video. And today, I'm channeling my inner Steve Jobs. Yay, because I mean Steve Jobs. And I love Steve Jobs so, so much. And yeah, in this video, I'm going to be talking about my top 5 makeup brushes for men. If you are not a guy and you're still watching this video, thank you so, so much, guys, for clicking the video. Don't worry, you're still welcome to my channel. Again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Disclaimer, I am not a makeup artist. I just really do makeup for myself. And I'm not saying that you should buy this, you should buy this, you should buy this. This is not good, this is bad. Again, what works for me doesn't always mean that it will work for you. So I'm just sharing my opinions and thoughts so that in any way, form, shape that I can, I can help you guys with makeup or grooming for men. Too much of talking, let's now start in 3, 2, 1. So we'll now start with the base, which is the foundation. And the brush for that is a silk brush or a Kabuki Silk Brush for foundation. This is the Zoeva One Auto Silk Brush. Again, this is not an original one. I just got this. And in short, this is a fake one, but it's, but I still use it every single day and it works wonders. I use this for my foundation. I just tap, 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 tap. And it gives a few or extra coverage because the, because the bristles are very, very concentrated and plump. That's why I like this one. Again, the Zoeva 102 silk brush. Now that you're done with the foundation brush, I'm now going to set everything with my powder brush from Real Techniques. This is again a dupe. In short, this is fake. I don't have a real one except for one here. But yeah, I use this one. I just press this on my pressed powder and I just tap, 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 and it does the job. This is very cheap. You can get this in Divisoria or anywhere out there. For me guys, in my opinion, I don't really splurge on really expensive makeup brushes because dupe makeup brushes or inexpensive makeup brushes or cheap brushes can still really do wonders on your makeup. So it doesn't really matter if you have good brushes as long as your products are original, you know how to blend and all that yada yada yada. Now that we're done with the base and the powder, let's now go to contouring. I am using the contour brush from the Benefit Chica Boom. Chick palette. This is actually a free one. And this kind of brush, I use it for contouring because it is very angled. I put it here and here. Sometimes the nose line, but they have a different brush for the nose line. So you have to check out the ending of the video. And I also put it here. And it's very compact, it's very small, it's very handy, it's travel size, but the bristles are not the softest, but it does the job. And I like it so, so much. I'm actually addicted to contouring right now. As you can see, I have my cheekbones on fleek. Down to my two last brushes. This is for the blush. You put it on the apples of your cheeks. Again, this is a fake one from Real Techniques. I think this is called the blush brush. And I just use it here and here and here and here to have an illusion of sun-kissed look. And this works really good. The bristles are super soft. I don't know why this is very inexpensive, but it's really, really soft. I guess it's made from China, but it does the job. Again, blush, brush from Real Techniques. Again, this is a dupe one. The next thing that I have is for the nose contour. This is from Fanny Soriano. It's called the Large Eyeshadow Brush. And I just use it to contour my nose. It is very inexpensive also. I think this is just 150. You just buy one brush and then you use it forever. The bristles are really soft, are very dense, and it's very buff. And you can really blend your nose line well. And also you can use it as an eyeshadow brush. But I mainly use it for my nose contour. Again, I said in this video that I'll be showing the top 5 makeup brushes for men. But I'll be showing you one more. But this is not a brush. This is a sp this is a beauty blender from Real Techniques. You wet this and it will psh, and it will like grow bigger. And you just pat it all over your face when you're done with your makeup. So you will have an illusion of having an airbrushed effect. And this one really does the job. Like if you have excess foundation or powder and you look cakey, you just 
spray your water or like your fix plus and you just dab 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 and you're ready to go again so let's have a summary again foundation brush this is weba silk brush 102 for setting the powder i'm using the real techniques powder brush for the blush i'm using the real techniques blush brush for the contour i'm using the benefit free contour brush and for the nose line, I used my large eyeshadow brush from Fanny Seriano. And to set everything up, I dab everything. I mean, I top it all off with my Beauty Blender from Real Techniques. So that's it. My top 5 essential brushes for men. Thank you so, so much guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more of me. Don't forget to hit the bell button beside the subscription bar so you'll get notified whenever I post a new video. And I have a question for you guys. What brush do you usually bring when you go out of the house? Comment down below. Thank you so, so much guys for watching and don't forget to always smile because life is a big, big camera that never stops rolling. See ya!